Okay, hopefully this is loud enough for me to hear, but not. Oh! Okay. 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 Oh. Very sudden. Yeah. Oh, hey, there's moving platforms now. Interesting. I would like a little more warning, I think, on the transformation back. Oh, I see. It actually tells me. Poor guy. Yeah, it would be good to have maybe a little bit more of a knowledge, maybe of when I'm going to turn. I do like that the platforms aren't moving, but I'm smacking. I'm kind of curious what other types of platforms might be coming. Oh, okay. Well, that came a. Uh, that kind of that. Okay. Well, that was fine. That's fine. I'll give it one more try. I don't think there's really a lot more. Okay. I don't think there's a lot more strategy to worry about. But. I like this little monster, guys. Oh, man. Yeah. I think if I were to offer any sort of like constructive critique, it would be maybe if you can avoid guys who are walking off the edge and then back again. That would be ideal. Like the upper, the right bound of the. I do think that overall, the generator that you're using, or that you've made, is pretty good at giving situations that are pretty. Good. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty fair, I think. Now let's see if I can get out of this one. Be pretty proud of myself if I can.
There we go. Uh, I like that the jump is generous, that you don't have to uh, get it exactly. Like, there's not a head bonk. I think for a game like this, that's probably ideal. Pi goes to the player. It makes it feel much fairer as a game. What I'd like to see, if I think you can work this out, would be maybe a bigger moving platform that also has a monster on it. I'd maybe give it a little more pop as far as like when the monsters die. I think what's going on right now works fine, especially for a jam game. Uh, but maybe give it like a little bit more pizzazz, I would say, on the uh, death of monster front. Like maybe if some of them went out to the screen or to the back or something like that. These are just ideas like how you might go about if you wanted to like polish for like something else like maybe if you're making like a mini game collection. Yeah, well this one's created a lot of situations. Oh. I'm not sure if there's like a benefit to uh, to actually hitting the monsters like is there a cost or a benefit to it that would be the big thing is like is there a is there a benefit to it or a cost like is there a decision there and if not then it's like if I got another chance, but not dying for every, like maybe 10 monsters I hit, that might be worth the effort to like go out of my way for it. But as it stands, I'm not really sure why I would, if I, like I'm doing it kind of for fun. Oh boy, oh boy. So that's obviously a thing that I'm doing, but um, like, in terms of an actual like gameplay decision, I'm not really sure why I would do that. Also good to, okay, well, that's a nice run. I'll call that good. Anyway, thanks for sharing that with me. It was a fun game. Um, because I think you could do some things with polish and uh, some more with, um, you could really do some things with polish. You could do some things uh, mechanically, maybe give a reason to hit or not hit the monsters. Otherwise, maybe maybe they just um, they're just a suggestion, not something you have to do by any means. But maybe like uh, they see you coming in the um, in the scary form, and they just like run off the edge or something. I don't know. It's a thought. Anyway.